What is up guys? Neil here, back with a feature slash customizing review um, for those of you who use an Android device. So uh, Google recently unveiled the Pixel 2 devices um, in the 5 inch or 5, I think 5 or 5 and a half inch and 6 inch models. I want to say 5 and 6 inches, but along with the new devices, they have introduced a slightly updated layout as far as what... Um, they're offering to show you on your home screen. They'd had a big um, push on AI and bringing information to you based on the time of day, location, what you're doing and all that sort of stuff. And um, I thought, you know what, that's a great uh, feature to have, but not everyone um, would be able to get necessarily this kind of feature set and layout. So I thought I'd create my own version just to play around with it and get used to it. So it's kind of along the lines of what you see here. So um, if doing a quick uh, Google search for Pixel 2 UI, I did a search recently just to have a re point of reference from their um, the conference on it. I know Engadget has a good um, image of that, um, of the layout there. So that's a, the quickest one that I was able to pull up. So I'll show it really quickly as soon as the page loads, of course. Um, so let's go back and do uh, view original image instead. Load the image. So opening up the image, you see the date, uh, weather, the search bar at the bottom, um, home, recents, and um, back. So for my device, my OnePlus 3T, I have the hardware button, so I don't have the on-screen navigation. So it's kind of already there. It gives me a little bit of room to do something else. Um, so what we're going to do in order to get this similar kind of layout, I modified it a little bit just for uh, personal um, organization, clarity, and that sort of thing. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install a custom launcher. In this case, for how I have it set up, we're going to install Nova Launcher. Um, I have, I think, the latest version of the um, launcher. I am part of the beta program, so um, I'm on 5.5 beta 2. That's the uh, latest version. Um, but as far as I can tell, any recent version will do. Um, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use Nova Launcher's Google search box. So what you'll do is, you'll long, is that you'll long press on your home screen and you're going to click on widgets. Um, under Nova Launcher, you'll see the quick search bar. So you're going to drag that down. Um, I kept the dock on in Nova Launcher, which is a settings menu, um, mostly just to get the dock as, or the search bar as low as possible on the screen. But it is totally optional. You don't you don't necessarily have to have it there. But for me, it uh, works nicely. So from here, we're going to um, drag the search bar down to the bottom. We're going to resize it so it fits, so it goes all the way across the bottom. Um, and I have a five, ic five icon width layout. So um, it, the widget for the search box will be four by one, but that can easily be resized. Um, in the settings menu as well, um, under um actually it's under desktop we're gonna go to search bar style and we're gonna sel i selected the one for rounded but you can also do the squared off uh transparent um if you want the um, menu like that or just a google date and weather you can do something along the lines there but i kept it for uh rounded like to keep it like as close to pixels or the pixel 2 uh, version as well possible and then you can create or you select the various color options for google so i just kept it at that one um, and then you can do search as overlay if you want i just kept it um, as a default there so that's um, basically all you need to do for that. Um, as far as the desktop grid, I kept it at, um, for my device, it kept it at, put it at six by five, but you can adjust it as needed. So four by four, four by five, five by four, whatever layout you want. Um, to have a little bit better positioning, uh, customization, I, I'm say I have the subgrid positioning set, but you don't necessarily have to worry about that if you just want the, the traditional layout. Um, and then that's about it. Width padding is none. Height padding, that's about it. Everything else is just additional customization. The only other customization that I am using that is of note is the icon pack. Um, I am using the pixel icon pack to have uh, rounded icons in my um, app drawer so you can see the icons are rounded there. 
Um, and so that's the bulk of that. Uh, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to install another app if you don't already have it installed. And it's called Custom Live Wallpaper Maker, or, um, otherwise known as KLWP. Um, I'll try and remember to do a, create a file if you want to uh, import my settings, but you will need the pro version for that. You can recreate this um, as your own uh, custom live wallpaper. Um, if you want to play around with it, mess around with it, move stuff around. Um, so what I did first was I set up these three boxes at the bottom, uh, one for the current weather, one for the steps, and one for the date. Uh, just so that I have that information available and then I'll show you what I did with that in a bit um, But I prefer that information to be handy just as additional um, Contextual information that I regularly use but don't necessarily always interact with um, And that's just three text boxes one's a date with a day um, Roboto font I have them all set to the same width, so 240 um, each, so, so that they take the proper width across my screen. Um, and then I have them set to launch uh, specific shortcuts in their own instances. Um, next up, though, I have media information at the top, which we see here uh, with that red box at the top. So I have if I have the me current media um, cover image. So if you're playing a podcast, for example, you see I'm listening to the uh, BBC Global News Podcast. So that shows up and then the title of the track and the current position and the total track time. So um, that's just under its own text box called uh, text box. And then I have that information. So artist, title, and position. Um, the image art I have is a regular bitmap. And then if you set the formula mode here, um, you can select the under bitmap uh, palette the cover image that's currently playing this works nicely with uh, Pocket Cast and Google Play Music. Um, I think with Pandora it's hit or miss. The latest few updates seem to be working okay but previous to that they weren't. Um, I'm not sure if it works with other apps like um, I want to say Apple Music or Spotify or any of those. I imagine if they have cover our image and artwork coming through it should work but I haven't tested it there. Um, and then the last bit of information is the notifications. This part is of note because with the Pixel 2 launcher, it's going to bring you contextual information like, uh, I guess, news, uh, events, calendar appointments, and things like that that are upcoming. Um, so to kind of bring a similar functionality, it's not necessarily a smart um, UI, but it's just your notifications. So whatever you have in your notification bar will show up on your home screen. So um, as you can see, I have an email from via Gmail, one new message, and then the Pocket Cast, when it's paused, will show up as a notification as well. So from here, I have it set up where the uh, title notification, so it's a nice little separator there. I put that in bold with the B brackets, uh, kind of along the lines of HTML. And then from here, I have the app name, the title of the notification, and some brief text. I include the app name because not all apps will pull their or push their app name through and I kind of want that for easy reference because I'm not pull necessarily pulling the icon. I've had trouble in the past as far as icons not clearing and they continue to show up when um, their notification is no longer there but if I'm still playing around with the formulas to see if I can clear it from the entry or something along the lines with the formula to make it go away but in the meantime this works for me so I have four notifications set up they're all the same I just did copy and paste app title and then text and the text is in italics so um, that is the bulk of that and then I have it and then you'll see that it's um, set to or indented a little bit which I'll show you in a little bit as well but that's the bulk of that. And then as far as the background, I have a image set up. So I picked a custom uh, image from my um, device. And the thing here is that if you're picking an image where the text that's overlaid is not visible, then you may need to do things like dimming and blurring your background. So there is that option. So at the moment, my background works nicely. But if I, for example, want to um, blur it a little bit to make my text more visible, then it works out nicely um, there as well. Um, you can also do a dim, so if you wanted uh, a dark image just to have an image and have it kind of like a glass overlay on top of your image, then you can do that as well. Um, for me, the best dimming and blurring, uh, either on their own or individual, works at around 25% to 50% um, 
uh, for visibility and to see the wallpaper and all that. So that's just a recommendation. Um, and of course, it all depends on the image, but in general, that works best. So 50% is a, the highest range to have a good view of the picture while reading text. 25 is a low point as far as um, effectiveness when you're um, doing that end of the range. So um, that's the layout there. So going back, I'm not going to, since I messed around, I'm not going to have any other changes, but from here, that's the bulk of that. So what I have set up, um, here is that, uh, um, I also have my icon set up just to have icons. If you saw from the original image that I showed on Engadget, but I also have pop-up widgets set up. So I, for steps, um, I have it set up to default of 10,000 steps a day. So it's kind of unnecessary to have this widget, but you can use pop-up widgets to pop up a widget with additional information. So for example, with the date, um, today's Thursday, October 5th. So when I touch that, I can see upcoming events in my calendar. So various days off holidays and, th and various events that are happening with the with the weather forecast i have it set up to show a five-day uh forecast so there is that as well um and that's pretty much the bulk of the layout so i'm gonna delete um that so um that goes away i'm gonna refresh the play um pocket casting so you can see how it looks a little bit when i see when it's not an email sh that's showing up but uh, or when there's not an email there, but um, you can see notifications is bolded. I have the title of the app, the podcast that's playing or currently on pause, and then um, in italics the um, subject of the email. And then as far as why I've indented the media information and the notifications is because I have it set up where um, I have Google News and Weather as a widget on my second home screen. So having them all the way to the left still shows them around in the border. And I kind of don't want, really want to see that information. So when I swipe over, um, Google News and Weather takes up the whole home screen. And I can um, see the news stories at a glance of what's showing up and have that information. So that's all there really is for that. I mean, there's not too much to say with, us, with this new information, but if you kind of want to have a pseudo version of the Pixel 2 UI, then for me, this kind of works. I know I'm not going to, I'm probably not the first person to do this. I'm not going to be the last, but this is something that worked for me. I wanted to share kind of the new layout. Um, I would kind of actually like it and I figured I'd start getting used to it to see um, how it feels if I continue to like it. And it's nice to actually have that information on my home screen. So while swiping down to get my notifications is not a big hassle, having the uh, notifications on my home screen just show up is actually relatively nice as far as when emails come. Um, when I have, for example, the news alerts from Google News and Weather, um, when I have text messages, things like that, just being able to read it. Uh, probably the next step is going to be to maybe make them interactive notifications, but swiping down at that point to open the app uh, works just as well. Um, this layout should work on Action Launcher as well. You won't be able to put the uh, search box in the dock, but you can disable the dock in Action Launcher and just put the uh, search bar at the bottom of the screen. You're not going to get the rounded version. You're probably just going to get the rectangle search box. So there is that to consider, but it'll still be as effective because the rest of it, the layout is going to be in custom live wallpaper maker. Um, so that's all for that. And then with things like Nova Launcher, you can also have additional features like uh, double tapping on your screen, swiping up, swiping down, pinching in and out. Um, as I showed earlier, you can have uh, various icon packs. You can change the speed of the launcher for how fast and slow things um, operate. Uh, you can have uh, notification badges uh, with Nova Launcher using the Tesla on red counter so if you want notifications and there's that as well you get uh, night mode and things like that so there's additional features you can get with nova launcher but if you want to play around with a ui that's kind of like the pixel ui launcher then this is definitely a way to go but that's all there is for this review thanks for watching and listening and until next time